Versus the Ted Show. And, uh, look, when I was a, a SmackDown color commentator during that heyday of SmackDown, I mean, I used to hate doing that. A lot of us did. We hated that stuff. Like, with the, the, the way they would portray female wrestlers. And then they went to the whole thing, a diva, a wrestling diva in WWE, and this is what they wanted us to sell. It's a combination of broody, uh, uh, beauty, uh, brawn, and brains. You know, yeah, but you meanwhile, you got these girls running around half naked, playing grab ass with each other. You know, and they're not really in the ring. You don't give them a lot of time. You give them one segment. That's how it was. It's, it really wasn't good. So female wrestling has come a very, very long way over the past couple of years in a good way towards the positive. So to Kevin's question slash point, I don't think we're that far at all from uh, you know seeing more of these type of specialty matches from Hell in a Cell, ladder matches or whatever, you know. Um, Money in the Bank would definitely be a lot of fun to watch. Yep, yep, yep. You know, I, I, I got to tell you, I think like, look, obviously uh, – the bulk of professional wrestling fans are men. Not all, you know, but the bulk. I don't know the percentage. I'm sure there's been focus groups and companies that have figured this hard out and all that jazz. But I'm just saying, like, it, it's it's a deal where um, it, it's it's I don't I don't think men are comfortable watching if you see, God forbid, you know, whatever, like Sasha Banks or something fall and take a bump off a cage that's really high like a cell not just a cage i think a lot of the bulk of the audience men would cringe in a bad way like oh god because you know that a woman's body is more fragile for the most part than men and i i, I you know i i would cringe too as a, i will if if that happens i just hope, would hope she would be okay but the you know, the way you structure a match these two girls can still go in a cage, and, and and we've seen it with guys, where you don't have to take a bump off the top of the freaking cell. You don't. I know the bar was set high with hell in the cells. I know that. But as we talked about the other day, they're kind of worn, watering this thing down right or wrong, Cap. The, the hell in the cell thing. They're doing a bunch of them, aren't they? They're doing three this year. That's insane. It's a lot. That's a lot. Seriously. It's too much. Talk about the other day. So, like, you can't expect your talent to go and just throw themselves the top off the cage. Don't give a male or female. And I really doubt that WWE is going to ask people to do that. So, uh, anyway. David Lane on the Twitter, at David V. Lane, says, The second a girl accidentally gets color, we'll be back to watching bra and panty matches. I, I, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's true. I get what he's saying. I do. He's saying that the company will cringe. You know, I, I am assuming this is what he's saying, that the cr company would cringe or they'd freak. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Because if you're getting color, that means the company knows you got color. So if you're going to use inside, inside terms, you know, not just David, other people. Now, if she gets hard weighed, okay, but you get hard weighed in a regular match. It's happened a few times. It happens, all, yes, it happens. So I don't agree with David. He has he's entitled to his opinion that, and I thought it was an interesting tweet by him. That's why I read it. Thank you, David, for, for that right there. But you know, um, so you know, I I don't um, I don't, know. I I don't think guys are like you're a guy, right? Do you're a fan? I mean, when you see chicks take a nasty big big bump, is it different than seeing when a guy does? Well, it? I mean, I'll cringe if I see a guy falling off the top of a hell in a cell or something like that. Yeah, I usually laugh. So. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. I'm teasing. Uh, no, no, I understand what you're saying. Um, it, it, it's just, it is cringeworthy. I, it would be, I should say, to see if a smaller frame girl. Now, Charlotte's a bigger girl, bigger, muscular, thicker body, but still, she's a female. We'll see. We'll see how they structure the match. Hell in the cells have been dangerous, and most of the men that go in know how dangerous they are. Because you got to be careful where the bar's at and what you're going to do with that bar and how high you're going to go to reach that bar or if you're even going to bother because you don't have to bother, to be honest.